Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and uh, in this video I'm going to give a very quick tutorial on how to do installing applications in Sabion Linux. Now, I am in Windows XP right now. I'm going to screencast Sabion eventually, but for those that want the basic information on how to do this, this video will be useful for you. If you are using Ubuntu Linux and you want to know how to install applications, I'm just going to show you right now. You can go to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash pcmedianet. And then if you go to the search field on our channel, you can just search for Ubuntu and our how to adding and removing programs in Ubuntu Linux 704 is right here. I've already done that. I'm getting to the Sabion one, but I wanted to show this anyway because installing apps in Sabion is distinctively different from Ubuntu and to be blunt honest, a lot more difficult. So let's just get right to it. I'm just going to go back to the Sabion Linux. This is the homepage for Sabion Linux, sabionlinux.org. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, in order to find out how to do anything in Sabion Linux, the best place to go is the wiki link right on their homepage. Now, they don't call uh, installing applications on their wiki. Oh, by the way, we go to the how to section on the wiki. They don't call it adding and removing programs. They call it package management. So that's the first thing you really have to bear in mind. When you get right to the how to section here, go right to package management. And then right here under the package manage management header says how to install packages on the Savion slash the complete portage guide. So if we go there, and then we actually go to 7.1.2 install packages as a remove part by the way but let me just get to install packages now unfortunately in savvy on linux it is the case where packages are installed the traditional command line way where you have to type the word emerge and then the name of the package it goes and gets the package and installs it uh, you, there's command line options you have to put in sometimes and where it says here package name it's going to look something like this wwwclient slash mozilla slash firefox slash 2.0.0.1-r2 and yes you do have to type all this crap in order to install an application um, traditional Linux fans say well that's the only proper way to install an application that may be the case guys but seriously there has to be better ways to install apps like this Ubuntu does it way faster and way easier and am I saying Ubuntu is better at installing apps? Yes, it is. This is just ridiculous. Computers are far, and operating systems are far enough along now where we should not have to do this crap anymore. Now, something that you may or may not be aware of is that in Sabion Linux is that the uh, its Linux is Gentoo, G-E-N-T-O-O, -O. and uh, in Ubuntu they use Debian but this is uh, Gentoo. Now if you want to find out more information on Gentoo, it's just gentoo.org and a lot of what Sabian Linux is, is Gentoo Linux because that's, that's what it uses and you can find out information on here, you can go to the documentation section, go to the English part if you speak English and then go to installation update guides. A lot of what's in here directly applies to Sabian Linux being that it uses it so you can check that out at your leisure. Let me just go back to the, uh, okay, we install packages. Now, they have two links here, the packages gentoo.org, which unfortunately at this point is unavailable. As of this recording, on August 27th, 2007, Bannon had reported bug regarding a possible command injection vulnerability, infrastructure team, blah, 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 whatever. I don't care. So the second site is gentoo-portage.com. So we head on over there. Now this is what it looks like. It's a very simple website, kind of looks like a search engine. And you can search Portage for any application that you'd want to install in Sabion. There are over 11,000 packages available. So if we just search for Firefox, for example, and just press enter, you see what we got. There's the binary, there's the browser, the NoScript version, the launcher, if we just click on this one, it will show 2.0.0.6 and all the stuff that it needs. You can download it, you can view it, and you can do whatever you need to. But 
when you're using command line or the uh, graphical portato, you can just install this. Uh, it is easier, albeit a little more cumbersome to use the command line than it is to use portato, but whatever you feel like doing. So if you've been pulling your hair out trying to figure out how to install apps, head over to the Gen 2 Dash Portage beta page, search for whatever it is that you need, see if it's available, look for the title, do the eMerge thing, and install the application. If you decide that you don't like it, let me just go back a couple of pages here, you'll also notice that right under install packages on the how to wiki, there's remove packages just right underneath it. And it's just a uh, command line option called dash capitals C. And it will just uninstall. This is this removes a package. Simple enough. As far as finding out how much space packages take up, I have no idea how to do this. Uh, you can search packages if you want with dash lowercase s and the package name. And uh, there's also an uppercase s searches for packages with a package name with a search term and the package description. There's a ton of different command line options. Um, again, I am fast finding out that Savvy on Linux is much more for the person that is not afraid of the command line. Not, I'm not afraid of the command line personally, but some people, if it, if you can't use a mouse, then they don't want to touch it. And I can understand that because a lot of people are mouse centric. They just want to do everything with a point and click. Savvy on Linux, as I'm finding out, is not like that. It is to a large degree but there are still things you have to do because if it's Gen 2 base. Anyway, uh, that's just a little quickie. So again, let me just do this one more time so you know where to go. Head over to the Sabion Linux homepage. Oh, let me just reload that. Just head over to the wiki link. And then on the next page, head over to the how to. And then after that, go to... Uh, 1.2 package management and then how to install packages complete portage guide and on the next page 7.1.2 install packages I know that takes a lot to just find out how to install a package it's a pain in the butt I will admit people are willing to do this because Sabion is just so unbelievably cool in the way that it operates and the fact it does dual screen monitors very easily or should I say relatively easily. You can see one of our other videos for that where I actually did a dual screen setup. And uh, But soon enough I will have a screen capture of how to do this and show you how it works. So just stay tuned, check back with our channel, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And uh, I'll be showing you some good stuff real quick. So take it easy. And uh, if you have comments, uh, especially Sabion users out there, if you know of graphical ways with Portato to make this easy to install apps, please feel free to comment or better yet, post a video response because there are people out there that need this information. They really do. So if you're a Sabion Linux fan, please feel free, comment, respond, however you want to do it. Uh, we'll be more than happy to take the information and it'll help out other Sabion Linux users. So take it easy.